In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export uh, measurements so you can then um, run Cytomap to identify um, the different cell populations. So here, now uh, we, we're done with the segmentation, so we can actually even uh, switch off the DAPI. If we just want to look at the other markers, uh, we know where the cells are, uh, that's where the, the different um, red circles are. I can uh, go back also if I go back to view and uh, to um, cell display, I can put back the cell boundaries. So I have the nuclei and the cell boundaries. And so now we're going to use measurements associated to these cells. Uh, so we, we're going to export them and then um, we'll be able to identify the different uh, cell population with Cytonap. So the best, um, best option is to use uh, the export measurement. So if I go to measure, I can directly click on export measurement. This is nice because if you have several images in your project, you'll be able to um, export all the different, um, all the different um, uh, measurements associated to the different images. So here, um, first you choose the image when you have one. So that's going to be this image. And you have to make sure that you saved. And actually, I didn't save. So here, if I try to export the measurement, as I didn't save uh, after segmentation, it won't see that I have a measurement associated to the cells. So I need to uh, close it and to save. So I can go to File and Save. I could do Control S. Now, if I go back to Measure, Export Measurement, so I select the image then I need to ex uh, select the export type. So here we want to export uh, all the measurements associated to the cells, which are defined as detection here. So I'm going to select detections. Uh, the separator is going to be a CSV file because that's what is required for site and app. And then I can export all the measurements or I can only export the measurements that will be useful for site and app. So if I do populate here, now I can actually select what I want to export. So I'm going to need the image and this is actually not really needed for Cytomap, but it's going to be needed when I want to import back uh, the, you know, the, the, the cell uh, classes uh, identified with Cytomap into QPath. So I'm going to check image. I'm going to then uh, check, so centroid X and Y. In Cytomap, we'll have uh, cells defined as um, point clouds. And so uh, every single cell is identified by its coordinates. And then the different measurements that are associated. So we know that FOXP3 is actually a nuclear marker. So we're going to export uh, the average intensity in the nucleus for FOXP3. And then uh, we have CD4, which is a membrane marker. So I'm going to select. CD4, average intensity in the membrane. Here you could use other, you could use the cell, for example, of the cytoplasm here. Even if you have a marker that is membrane, maybe uh, it, after acquisition, it's better to use the cell. And this is up to you. You can definitely choose what's the most appropriate here. And finally, CD8 is also a membrane and marker. So I'm going to select membrane min. All right, so I have... CD8 membrane mean, CD4 membrane mean, FOXP3 nuclear mean, and then the centroids, X and Y coordinates, and the image. So I'm happy with that. I uh, finally need to define where I'm going to uh, save this, uh, this file. And so here uh, I'm in my project, but that's fine. I can change the name. I'm just going to keep it as measurements. All right and I can export it. So again, with this tool, you can do it for several uh, images at once, which might be useful depending on what you want to do. It's exporting all the measurements. All right, it's a success. So if I go back to uh, my, not here, I'm going to go back. So in my project here, now I have this file. So the measurements that I just defined, I can open it. And if I open it, so here 
Uh, it's a CSV file, so Excel doesn't see uh, commas as uh, as um, delimiters, so I can change it, but I can also directly open it with um, LibreOffice, for example, and it will give me the opportunity to directly um, state what's, um, what's the delimiter between the columns. So here, you see, I can say that commas are the delimiters, so it's directly in the right format. And so it's huge fine, obviously. Okay, sorry, it went again out of screen. So here we can see, so we can see that we have the centroid coordinates, X and Y coordinates, and then Fox P3 uh, average intensity in the nucleus and average intensity in the membrane for CD4 and CD8. And here we have the image name, so that's the file we're going to be able to use to uh, do an unsupervised clustering with Cytomap.